everyone, Yannette here from Lucid Pen, and today I'm going to show you how to make this background cover for your planner. Um, as you can see, we have the binder rings that we did in a previous tutorial, and the planner pages with the border that we did as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll create a new slide. Okay, and to make the background, uh, you can either use a straight edge square or this one with the rounded edges. I personally prefer this one, but it's totally up to you. Uh, if you want to have another background behind your cover, such as if it was a desktop or something, you might want to leave a little bit more space than I do here. Uh, again, play around with it and, you know, do it how you would prefer. Okay, now let's go ahead and change the color. We'll go to style, fill, and I'm just gonna leave this default image that comes with it. This works just fine for what we're doing. Um, but you can always change your image to whatever you prefer. Um, and if you wanna play around with the edges, this little green uh, circle here allows you to change the radius of your corners. So we'll keep it at that. Copy, and then we're gonna paste. Okay, and let's go ahead and change the color so we can see what we're working with. I'm gonna make this just a little bit darker, but I'm gonna change the opacity to 25. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is resize this just a little bit, and let's go ahead and center. We wanna have enough space around both of these shapes because um, in between them, that's where we're going to put our stitching. So I think I'm gonna give myself a little bit more space in the top and the bottom. Let's see, that looks good, okay? So let's go ahead and create another shape and this is going to be our stitches. Like I said, we want them to fall right between those two and if you're having a bit of a hard time because of the guides, just go ahead and turn those off so that you can do this and then turn them back on so that you can center things again. Okay, and then this side, and I think we're, mm, just need a little bit more over here. Okay, let's turn those guides back on so that we can center this and everything lands properly. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and um, go to fill, and we're going to remove so we're gonna have no fill, we're gonna remove the color because we're only working with the border for this one. So we're gonna to go to borders, style, we're gonna go use this um, larger dashes. We're gonna change the color to either white, gray, it's totally up to you. Okay, and then the point, this is the important part, you want the points to be two points. Okay, now we're gonna take that, nope, not comment, not that either. <laughs> oh no, there we go. All right, sometimes it's hard to click on these. All right, so copy, paste. And we're gonna go ahead and center this again. And we're gonna go back to the borders and we're gonna change the style to the dots, okay? And we're gonna change the color to, um, let's go with gray. This is a gray 10, okay? And we're going to go with uh, four points for these. Now, if you look, you will see that the points or the dots land exactly at the edges of the dashes. So now all we're going to do is, right, let's, let's select those real quick, arrange, and we're going to move those back one so they fall behind the dash. And now we have something that looks like real stitching. The dots represent the little holes that the needle would make on the fabric or leather um, when it's being stitched. Okay, so now for the last part, we're just gonna make the metal that goes behind your binder rings. So we'll create another shape. Um, I like to make this go over the stitching a little bit. It just makes more sense. Um, and then you can play around with, with the, um, the radius of the corners again. Total, totally up to you and personal preference. Let's make this just a little bit bigger. 
let's see if we can get this centered properly. There we go. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and change the color. And we're going to go with, nope, not an image. We're going to go with a color. Let's make this lighter. There we go. just not quite happy with that all right we're gonna go ahead and copy this and paste and let's change the color so we can see what we're doing here um, we'll go with something a little bit darker for this one and if you want you can change the opacity just to make it look a little bit shadowy 50 that's good okay we'll center that oh it's because we have to resize it that's why I can't see it Let's go in just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. And now we'll just make little circles. And let's make sure that we constrain those proportions so we don't lose our shape. And that's a good size. We'll go ahead and center that. And we'll change the color to, let's see, something we can see. That's good. Okay. So we'll copy paste those let's make sure that that was let's make sure that that's centered we just having a hard time aren't I okay yep that was centered okay and paste and the guides should allow you to stop when they're all the same distance from each other so now we'll go ahead and group these make things easier for ourselves group and then this last one back here we're going to give it a bit of a drop shadow so we'll go right here to style shadow um, and again this one is personal preference whichever one you prefer um, either this light one or this one right here I like this one so we'll go with that for now okay and that is pretty much it now we can go back to this first one we can copy the work that we did previously paste um, and if you wanted to have some tabs you might want to resize this a little bit so that you have enough room otherwise you are good to go next time I'm going to show you guys how to add tabs and how to save your work and save um, file space when you're making your backgrounds uh, and your planners Thank you so much for watching, and if you like my tutorials, please subscribe so that I know that I need to make more for you guys. Have a great one.